Welcome to Will at Work. I'm Kevin. Here we're checking out my game consoles. Uh, this one has never been opened, so we're going to be really quick. It is Disney's Cinderella. Uh, it's from Jack Specific. It's another one of those plug-and-play TV games. It, the joystick is a big Cinderella on top of like a... I mean, it looks like a mound of snow, basically. I didn't know it was snowing in that movie, but, you know, whatever. It's probably, you know, just made that way and to, to look nice. Um, Once Upon a Midnight, Disney Princess. Once Upon a Midnight, and then it says Cinderella. So, it might be called Disney Princess. I don't know. This box is a bit unique in that uh, the Jack Specific ones tend not to be in a, a squared off box like this. Um, they were obviously trying to target some girls, um, girl gamers, let's say, that were young to get them into gaming. Um, no cartridge or software, plugs directly in. Has a series of mini games like a lot of these do. Um, carriage Countdown. Memory Magic, Dance, Cinderella Dance, and, uh, I don't know what the hell that says, Gus Crown Craze or something, um, it's probably, you could probably read it better than I can see it, I don't have my glasses on, um, and this was on their TV games, uh, probably just before they had introduced the, um, cartridge system to these with the game keys uh you know jack specific basically you know released a series of these kind of came out uh with these sort of standalone ones then they introduced the game key the cartridge based ones which are like little consoles you could use the game keys to switch games and then that didn't take off or do as well as they tr so they um cut costs eliminated that just sold the standalone joysticks and as of today, uh, as far as I am aware, they have exited the video game market, and they're just making toys now. Uh, so this was just something they ran in the, um, you know, mid-2000s, etc. Uh, so anyway, this is just one for the count. It's uh, in the collection. Uh, do I have all of the Jack-specific games systems? No! No, they made a lot of these diff different kinds of things. But I definitely have probably about 75% of them at this point. Um, I'm mostly just looking now to collect ones that are in the box like this rather than any um, loose ones because um, I don't really care too much uh, you know, to f finish off the collection if they're loose but maybe if something's particularly in good shape and interesting or if I find it at a Goodwill or you know a thrift store of some kind then I would probably you know go ahead and pick it up and answer the collection if it's loose. But in terms of like looking for things on eBay or uh, other online marketplaces that I visit, um, yeah, just looking for things in box at a reasonable price. Some people want like $100 for things like this. They're absolutely out of their mind. Nobody's paying that. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.